left to heart. Hello there, Pure Power Wrestling fans. I'm your old pal, Bulldog. To my right, my old buddy, Harley. This is Pure Power Wrestling. From Stony Plain, Alberta, The Vixen, Jade! The Vixen, Jade, making her way to the ring. It's been a while since we've had ladies wrestling in uh, Lethbridge. And I'll tell you what, this match is going to blow your mind. This Dixon Jade is one of a kind. She's going against Revon Slasher. Interesting to note, a couple years ago, these two were tag team champions in several promotions in Western Canada. And uh, as of late, they've been tearing it up in singles competition, each of them winning several titles in several promotions. And they are no strangers to one another, Harley. I mean, they faced each other in all kinds of different environments, and some they win, some they lose. I wonder if they've ever faced each other and in a steel cage. Her opponent! Oh. From Prince George, British Columbia, the Big Bad Wolf, Rhea! Von Slasher! Rhea Von Slasher making her way to the ring. Bulldog, what do you think? Both of these women look evil. Both of these women look evil. Yeah, I don't know if I would mess with Rhea Von Slasher. I mean, she looks like she can handle herself. She looks like she can handle herself. Look at the walk, look at the confidence, look at the... The time she, oh, she big time to that guy. Whoa. No high five for you. Something tells me that Ms. Revon Slasher is not really too, uh, too enthralled by the fans. You saw the Vixen Jade just tried to, to walk around. Revon Slasher gave her a look like, I'll slash you if you get any farther. It's very apropos to her name. Revon Slasher is a big name in Western Canadian wrestling. As is the Vixen Jade, they're both extremely talented young women. I cannot wait to see this one get underway as we kick off Bridge City Brawl 3. Bridge City Brawl 3, Ref Curtis is about to make that bell do that thing. Here we go. Oh! All right, Southern Alberta is getting behind the Vixen Jade. And right away, Rhea Von Slasher doesn't. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, she just pulled her face right into the mat, Bulldog. Just, just <laughs> ripped her, pulled her right into the mat. <laughs> Flattened somebody's face, I can guarantee that. Yeah, that. Uh... Oh, and then oh. just powers her off. Now, Bulldog, I, I might not want to oh, come wait. to conclusions here, but who do you think has the power game in this in this match? Oh, Rhea Von Slasher, definitely. The Vixen Jade, though. Uh, you might have noticed she's really good at, it, at finding a way around Rhea Von Slasher and, and, and having an answer for every one of her moves. Right now, that, that was a beautiful bridge pin. That really was. This Vixen Jade is really quite quick, and she's going to have to rely on that quickness. Look at this now. Oh, roll up. Very Rick close to the ropes. Very close. But this Vixen Jade is all over Rebound Slasher in the early goings. Here we go now, Irish whip, down goes Vixen Jade. Oh, Rebound Slasher, nicely, nicely done. She rolled through oh, and, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. How would you like a fingy full of hair there, Bulldog? That was clearly two fists full of the Vixen Jade's beautiful hair. We are filling up the visit Lethbridge.com arena for this great show. Well, formerly known as the NMAC Center, now the VisitLethbridge.com Arena and Bridge City Brawl 3 has got to be the prime event for 2024, I'd have to say. I would say so. I, I, can't, I can't imagine any other event being uh, more exciting than Bridge City Brawl 3. Speaking of numbers, we got a two count. It looks like Rebound Slasher is kind of gained a, a, a bit of an advantage. I think things are starting to go her way. 
she, she looks to be the kind of wrestler who might want to have a bit of a slower pace, stay in control. Oh, oh wait a minute. I think oh. I spoke too soon. Vixen Jade. Look at this know. now. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Very fast. Rhea Von Slasher almost had an answer for it, and then Vixen Jade just answered it with more quickness and then got a DDT, but you know. You know, just because the Vixen Jade is as quick as she is does not make Rhea Von Slasher slow. On the other hand, Rhea Von Slasher is very quick. The Vixen Jade is just quicker. Yeah. Watch this, watch this. Oh, she's going for a high impact move. Oh, oh, oh. face first. That was a gourd buster. Oh, and now, oh, I think, oh. Dodges the first kick, can't dodge the second kick. Oh, oh look at that. I, I feel like she might have sat not only on the back of the Vixen Jane, I think she might have sat on the fingers. And, and that might have been just as painful. I think that might qualify as small joint manipulation, yeah. which is not allowed in professional wrestling. You ever get your fingers caught in a car door? It sucks. Yes, it is awfully painful. That's what happened to the Vixen Jade. Now Rhea Von Slasher, I, I think, whelmingly trying to start a, a clap here, but she didn't look too impressed. Oh, oh! Vixen Jade dodged some of the Rhea Von Slash chop attempts and fires back with some chops of her own. Oh! Oh, she just ran into a boot hard. She's flattened Bulldog. That hurt. And now Rebound Slasher back in the driver's seat. Come on, Jade. Come on, Jade. Oh. Boom. You know, I, I would say Rebound Slasher, one of her best uh, teammates in this match has been the ring mat. Yeah, she's using the ring mat as a way, and I know that sounds very obvious yeah, yeah, Jade, doing yeah. wrestling, but she's literally slamming the face of the Vixen Jade into that mat countless times now. Over and over again. Oh, looks like she's, oh, another job. Heard that way over here. Rev Curtis trying to get these two out of the corner. Oh, two, three. Look at how hard she drives her shoulder. That's a big shoulder. Look at that shoulder. Yeah, she, she, she's, oh. Oh, look at this. Like I told you, this lady is very quick. Don't let the size difference fool you. Rebound Slasher is a, a top class athlete. Doing a, a, a back a reverse somersault there to, to create some distance between her and the Vixen Jade. And again, oh, but the Vixen Jade gets that boot up, Bulldog. Oh! Ever have one of your friends do that to you at the pool? No. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, those knees to the gut. It looks like Rhea Von Slasher has kind of uh, selected the, the, the midriff and, and, and back area of Vixen to, to go to work. Oh, wait a minute. Look how quick Vixen's nipped up there. One thing I will say about Rhea Von Slasher is she got Jim Dandy to boo. Jim oh. Dandy was booing her. Oh, the knees to the back and Look a roll up. This. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, what a kick from Rhea Von Slasher. The Vixen Jade getting stomped in the corner. Rhea Von Slasher following that kick up with a few more. Walking that mud hole dry. Oh my goodness! That was all acceleration. That's how I get myself in the washing machine on a dirty day. And a uh, oh, she pulled it into Ooh. a power bomb. I thought that might have been it, but Vixen Jade still has some fight left in her. I'll tell you what, Harley. I am super, super glad that the booking comp uh, the booking agent of Pure Power Wrestling managed to get these ladies in here because what a matchup we're witnessing. Yeah. These two girls are leaving it all in the ring. Definitely new things. It's the new name. Visit leftbridge.com arena. It's the new Bridge City oh! Brawl. The third Bridge City Brawl. We saw an excellent Bulldog there. Bulldog, did you like that Bulldog? I love that Bulldog. Oh. Vixen Jade set it up beautifully, but still not able to put Rhea Von Slasher away just yet. Oh, look at this. Rhea Von Slasher now. Yeah. Fireman's carry. Pick her up, put her down. Oh! Nicely done. 
She rolls through and now up on the second. Will she go to the third? Oh. Up on the second. Oh, oh my oh. goodness! Oh, only a two count. Wow. Three of on Slasher thought it was over. I did too. What a hell of a leg drop from the second rope. It was about to be uh, the visit leftbridge.com arena to the visit the chest x-ray doctor immediately yeah, arena. Yeah, exactly. The Vixen Jade showing some real toughness. Hanging in after that oh. high impact move and now it's now her perched up on the second. Oh, oh, nice high cross body. I think she almost followed that up with a pin, but it looks like maybe she could tell from the momentum it wasn't going to get her anywhere. Oh, oh, sidewalk slam. Well, oh, oh, oh. She grabbed the rope. Rivon Slasher got the rope. Causes a break and allows you to exert less energy. Oh, nicely, nicely. Uh, or, oh, uh, I'm getting mixed up. You're getting twisting need, and turning like I this move. Need my out of that. Look at this now. One, two. Oh, oh, she got her. The Vixen Jade has won. Here's your the Vixen winner. Vixen Jade coming out on top of the this Vixen one. The What an opening match at Bridge City Brawl 3. Beautiful, complete shot, reverse STO maneuver. The Vixen Jade planted Rhea Von Slasher's face in the mat. Oh, you can see Rhea Von Slasher, she's still a little bit dazed. Ref Kurt is tending to her, making sure she's, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Rhea Von Slasher, I'm sure she'll be fine. She's been through some hellacious wars. from the sexy cowboy. Well, I would say since we're at the Bridge City Brawl 3, it could be a record number of style points. Story time. Once upon a time, there was a cowboy and a gladiator. They're going to fight. The cowboy walks out. Champion. Yeah. Oh. Story time indeed. That Story time nice with the cowboy. Time. Cowboy's giving away spoilers. Seems to be in a rather good mood tonight, does Cowboy Bryn Watts. Absolutely. You know, and he's got a big task ahead of him with Scorpius. There's style There's points, style though. Points. That's what the people need to see. I'll tell you what, you're right. He's got a, his, his hands full tonight with Scorpius. Scorpius has been on a tear lately. Absolutely. He's been getting in incredible physical shape in the gym. He's getting tons of practice. He recently worked with uh, uh, ROH. I, I think I'm yeah, he's been, that on air. He's been training with the Nightmare Factory, but we'll get to that in a second. Right now, it's the sexy cowboy, Bryn Watts, the champion. And he's here to defend his championship against the man we were talking about, Scorpius, at Bridge City Brawl 3. There is no more intense competitor than the Cowboy Brim Watts. I tell you what, this guy is intense. His opponent! Here we go. What? You hear that? I, it sounds like uh, my microwave at home. 
Maybe a little louder, actually. So, sounds like. Oh, wait, wait, Bulldog, look behind you. Are you kidding me? Bulldog, look behind you. It's, it's the gladiator on, on his on his steed. No, I asked him. On it's his, his modern day chariot. It's the modern day chariot. It's the modern yeah. day chariot. Scorpius riding in on the modern day chariot. What a nice looking chariot indeed. Scorpius left his helmet on the back Weighing of the chariot. in at 215 pounds, fighting out of the Coliseum, the last gladiator, Scorpius! You know, he was training at the Nightmare Factory with Cody Rhodes. He, he got on ROH. He's, he's been really on a tear lately, and I feel like maybe he's getting from place to place on, on his modern day chariot. Well, why not? He's a modern day gladiator. Every modern day gladiator needs a modern day chariot. Wait, Scorpius now climbing the stairs. I think he's going. I think he's just leaving. That was cool enough. He gets to go home. Oh no, he's back. He turned around, he's looking good. Oh, he went up those wow. stairs and on the stage for a photo shoot. That's what he did. He wanted to look good. Well, he does. I tell you what, whether whether you like Scorpius or not, you got to admit this guy has been putting a ton of work into professional wrestling. He, he's probably put on 25 pounds of muscle since he first debuted with Pure Power Wrestling. The guy looks in phenomenal shape. He is going to be one hell of a competitor for Cowboy Brim Watts to defend against. And I mean, Brim Watts has faced some serious dudes before and come out on top. This is gonna be an all out war, Harley, and I can't wait. I can't wait to. The bike in front of us, the uh, modern day chariot, has a registered license plate on it. He drove here legally. Oh, wait a sec. Scorpius oh, outside oh, the oh, ring. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't even think the bell rang. The, the bell has not run. There's the, the, uh, there's ref Ben. Oh no, you don't you don't know. Come on, Scorpius. Oh my goodness. I'm probably I don't know. We're 20 feet away. I could hear that thud as if it was right next to me. I could almost feel it. How is the, the I, how is the cowboy supposed to defend his title after this? The, the, the bell has not rung, this match has not started. Oh! Oh! What the hell? Scorpius, I don't think he cares that the match hasn't started. This match is for the Western Canadian Championship. But right now, the champion, Brent Watts, is, isn't looking too good, and the, and the match hasn't even started. And Scorpius is not done yet. Oh my goodness! Right into the post! Bulldog, that, that's, that's iron. It's steel, it's, it, it's whatever hard metal you can think of, that's it. And, and, and Cowboy, I mean, he tried to get his hands up, but I, I can make he, eye contact with Bryn Watts, and I don't think he can see a thing, but his eyes are open. His eyes are open, but he is not there. Oh, and now look at this. A, 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 a series of forearm shivers. What has gotten him to Scorpius? I mean, he is... Uh, with, Stop with, within an inch of his life. This is crazy. And he's not stopping. Ref Ben is trying to get Scorpius to. It's a title shot, man. You can't do this. You'll get disqualified what before is, the match even what starts. What is, what is the mindset behind this? Scorpius just wants to destroy him. He doesn't care about championships, I guess. He has all the shiny things he needs in the modern day chariot. Oh my goodness, he is bouncing Cowboy's head off the mat. What did Cowboy do to deserve that? Check on him, man. His eyes aren't even in his head. They're rolling back. I mean, how is, are, how is Cowboy going to compete? Ben. Wow. Scorpius laying in wait there. I don't, I don't know if Bryn Watts is going to stand up. 
No, the ref, ref is calling this match. The ref is calling this match. Wait a minute. Boy. The ref's calling the match. The ref's calling the match, which is probably a smart decision. Oh, I think Cowboy. Cowboy's rejecting that idea. Cowboy not willing to have it. He's Cowboy's ready to fight. I don't know if that's a wise decision. Cowboy is, has, I, I guess, agreed to do the, and probably volunteered to keep going, even though he had it out. More like, Whoa. more like forced. This is insane. I mean, uh, Cowboy oh, is look, already out. Like, look, look at his eyes. He is not there. The, Scorpius, is, he, he's been all over the world lately in, in America at the Nightmare Factory training with Cody Rhodes, all the likes there, all the rising stars there, honing his craft, perfecting his craft. Do you oh. think, like, maybe Cowboy said something about that, and that's that's what, what's gotten under Scorpius' skin, because Scorpius, we saw him start here at Pure Power Wrestling. Yeah, I mean, uh, he, he's still in his rookie year. Look at this. Oh. Belly to belly overhead throw. Scorpius. Bryn Watts landed on his head. He's clutching the back of his neck, the back of his head, and Scorpius has all the time in the world to say whatever he wants to the fans. I see, I've seen him yell at a kid a thousand times, and I hope he does it again, but more so I hope for the well-being and safety of Bryn Watts, because this is, this is brutalizing him. Bryn Watts is barely able to drag himself to his feet, and Scorpius has not broken a sweat. Oh, wait a minute. Bryn Watts firing back, I mean, the guy has more fight than you can actually imagine. But I know that was the best idea, Cowboy. Oh! Oh! My goodness! That power bomb echoed through the VisitLethbridge.com oh. arena like I've never heard anything in the... the, the somehow! He still hit it! Somehow, Cowboy Brimwatch kicked out, but that power bomb was so powerful. I've called into so many things sick for not having being sick. If I got power bombed like that, I don't think I'd go into anything for a month. You know what? Anybody in this building, if they got power bombed like that, they would be unconscious. You, you, you gotta train yourself to hit the mat with your chin tucked and you develop muscle that does that over time. Any regular individual taking that fall on their back that hard, their head would have hit the mat so hard they'd be unconscious. Bryn Watts, after that hellacious assault before the bell rang, somehow ate that power bomb and he's fighting back! Yeah. Bryn Watts laying in those punches, he still has fight. How tough is Bryn Watts that he can somehow mount a comeback? But wait, Scorpius ducked out. Oh, oh, sunset flip. Oh, but Bryn Watts, Bryn Watts looking for that Texas Cloverleaf. If he sinks this in, if he sinks this in, he'll win. It'll be over. There's no, uh, no two way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the power of the legs of Scorpius. And I, I think, I think the back of Bryn Watts' head might have bounced off one of those turnbuckles. That did not do him any good. Scorpius is, I mean, he is really aggressive. Listen, bro, can you continue? What does he say? I'm not sure if Bryn Watts should be, should be wrestling at this point. I mean, Scorpius it, look, look is at trying it. to prove a point <laughs> tonight. Look at Cowboy's eyes. He is not there. I, I've seen when guys get their bell rung, and, and, and it's, it's in the eyes, man. And Cowboy's eyes are telling a much, much bigger story. He, he's injured. Bryn Watts is actually injured and shouldn't be competing right now. He was injured before the match started, and he was the one that begged for the match to start. Well, that's because he's got no quit. He, 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 he'd rather go out on his shield, and I mean, we all respect the courage and the toughness of Cowboy Bryn Watts, but there's gonna come a point where this has to stop. Oh! He misses that drop kick in the corner. There's one, I mean, this might be a very short window, but Cowboy's gotta get something going now. He blocks that punch, fires back. 
blocks another one, fires back. Scorpius reeling. Britt Watts, there's still not a lot of focus in his eyes, but he is lighting up Scorpius. Clothesline after clothesline. Bryn Watts has his, I, I was gonna say second wind, but honestly, it's probably about his fourth or fifth wind by this point. Well, that fisherman suplex might have been a bad idea. Bryn Watts. Yeah, landing back, he put a lot of torque into that. Could have hurt himself in the process. Looks like he might have, but he's gonna have to shake off the cobwebs and, and keep this momentum going. Scorpio is kicked out after two. Ben Watts. Ben Watts looks like he's trying to collect himself. I think, I think he needs the energy of the pure power wrestling fans. And I think he's getting it. Okay, here we go. Brim Watts, Irish whip off the rope. Oh, Scorpius ducked under. Oh! oh! I think Cowboy put everything into that missed clothesline that he tried to deliver. And I think Scorpius put a bunch into that spine buster. The elevation he got and drove Bryn Watts down hard. I mean, like I said, th th there's a point where this is gonna have to stop because Bryn Watts' safety has to be paramount. Oh, oh my goodness! A running kick to the face. Oh, and it's over. We have a new champion, Bulldog. It's over. We have the new champion, the Western Canadian Here champion. Here is your winner and the new Western Canadian champion, Scorpio. Wow, Scorpius. Unreal. I, I'm speechless, Harley. I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm very concerned about Bryn Watts. I, I didn't think anybody was gonna take that title from him. Well, if it wasn't for the for the sneak attack to start things off and, and, the, and the damage done before the bell rung, I don't know that the match would have gone that way, but Scorpius, so aggressive. Wow, what an impressive showing from Scorpius, modern day gladiator. Brent Watts, is, he is on Dream Street. I certainly hope the contract had a rematch clause, because I guarantee when Brent Watts is recovered from this, he's gonna want a rematch, he's gonna want that title back. Yeah, put it in, yeah! Scorpius now just putting that title belt into his saddlebag. And he's gonna ride that trusty steed out of here. Riding out with style points the way Bryn Watts would have done it. Oh, the audacity! No! Interesting enough, Scorpius did not break a sweat. The guy is in shape.